Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn. I'm one of the senior application engineers at Hawkert Systems. And today we're going to be looking at several ways to hide and show components in an assembly. It's especially useful when trying to apply mates or seeing what's hidden under a component without changing its transparency. We're going to be looking at hiding and showing components with the eye icon, the display pane, and the tab key. So the first one is pretty straightforward. It's selecting individual components, right, or just one single component. You can either left click or you can right click on the components. And you're looking for the eye with the line through it. In this case, when you see it kind of grayed out like this, that means if you click on it, it's going to hide it. So for example, if I click on it, you'll see it disappears. Right. You can look at the icon, you can see that um, no longer before it was the sub-assembly icon, which it still is, but it's just no longer in color, it's just black and white. If I right-click on it again, you're going to see here, to show the component, Right, we're just going to have that uh, black and white eye to bring that back. The next way is with our display pane, which I have showing now, but in some cases you might not um, already have it available. So I'm going to click on this arrow up here in our feature manager. So when you click on it, or when in this case I hit it, um, it disappears, you know, it reduces the amount of space that it takes up. If I click on it again, right, that's going to expand out our display pane. We're going to have four columns. Um, the first column is the one that we're really going to focus on because that's what's going to allow us to, again, hide and show components. So again, instead of right-clicking, I can just left-click on um, pretty much that column for whatever components that I want to hide. I can, again, bring them back by simply left-clicking on them to bring them back. Just for your information, the second column here controls the individual display style. By default, it's all set to whatever the display style of the assembly is. The third one is controlling appearance. And the fourth one, something that might be interested in is maybe you don't want to hide a component, but maybe you just want to make it transparent. For example, if I click here, right, you'll be able to see inside um, the batteries inside are also transparent because it's part of that sub-assembly, right? But if there weren't any components like, for example, um, that weren't part of the sub-assembly, you'd be able to see inside or see through them. The last method we'll cover, uh, it's one of my favorites. It's being able to hide, o hide components by simply just uh, moving your cursor over it and then clicking on that tab key on your keyboard. So, T-A-B. So, if I click on tab, right, I can hide individual components. And I can bring them back by doing a shift tab. Now, the main thing is I want to make sure that I'm hovering over wherever the components were located. For example, those batteries were located in here, right? So if I do a shift tab, shift tab, right? And I also have the cover out here as well. The key thing, it is a definitely a shortcut. Right? It's easier because you can just hover over something, click on tab. Um, the trick is just making sure that you remember which ones you hid, right? so that when you hover, you know the location of uh, where to hover it to bring it back. But maybe you get, um, maybe you lose track of what the, where those components are um, or which components um, are already hidden. For example, if I click this, right, I hide the locking pin. Uh, if I do the head as well, and then uh, lastly, this pin over here. And I could, you know, shift tab and, and kind of play around. I can also look in the feature tree. But an easier way is to right click in the graphics area and there is a show hidden components. So if I want to just quickly bring back or I can see whatever is um, hidden right now. So it kind of inverts the selection. So right now we're seeing hidden components. Um, I can left click on them to make them no longer um, hidden, so making them visible. I can also do a window select if I just want to bring them all back. 
once I click Exit Show Hidden, it will go ahead and bring back all the components that were hidden. So in today's video, we covered a few ways in which we can hide and show components in SOLIDWORKS. From the icon and the display pane, to the tab and shift tab keyboard keys. You now have a few more tools in your arsenal to navigate assemblies with ease. Thanks for watching.